Good afternoon. I'm still reporting on the Clintons. When it comes to an honest investigation of the Clinton Foundation, there is really only one man in the United States up to the task, an Indian-born, naturalized American, someone the Clintons fear. His name is Preet Bahara, dubbed the showman by the New Yorker for his theatrics and wisecracks in court. He's the head of the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York and has a history of taking down big-time banks and politicians. Bahara has prosecuted diplomats and 100 Wall Street executives. He has reached historic settlements and fines with the four largest banks in the U.S. and closed multi-billion dollar hedge funds. He has prosecuted New York State politicians, including the Speaker of the House, Sheldon Silver, and the Majority Leader of the Senate, both Democrats, and at one time even threatened to take on the Governor of New York. Bahara has often spoken publicly and written about the culture surrounding corporate crime and its effect on market confidence and business risk. Since his appointment in 2009 by President Obama, Bahara has brought in over $12 billion in fines and settlements, an unprecedented figure. After 85 straight convictions, he finally lost one in July of 2014, an insider trading case. How would you like facing a federal prosecutor with only a one chance in 86 of escaping free? In 2012, Bahara was named by Time magazine as one of the 100 most influential people in the world, and by Bloomberg Markets magazine's 50 most influential. The bottom line, Bahara can't be bought off or scared off, even by the Clintons. Interestingly, when FBI Director James Comey was asked by Representative Jason Chavitz if the Clinton Foundation investigation was tied into Hillary Clinton's email scandal, Comey responded abruptly, I'm not going to answer that. Bahara's spokesman, Nicholas Bays, told the Daily Caller he would decline to comment on the investigation. However, it is clear to everyone that it would be best if charges were filed on Clinton before the election than after. I'm still reporting from Washington. Good evening.